Hi guys, this is Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Picky Chick. If you're new to the channel, I am an eBay seller and on the channel I do a lot of unboxings, especially jewelry. I have decided to do a video that's a little bit different than my typical unboxing videos. Since I am an online seller of jewelry, uh, mostly eBay, um, I have gotten a lot of questions about how I store my inventory once I list it. So I'm going to share some um, of my processes and my system, the way I do it when I list jewelry and store it, and even how I prepare the item for mailing. Uh, before I get into that, um, you might know if you subscribe or if you've watched me for a while that my dog Alfie um, hasn't been doing very well about I don't know, 10 days, maybe 10 days ago. Today's March 11th, 2021. Uh, I took him to the vet. He got some blood work back. It wasn't good with regard to his white blood cell count. We, uh, she put him on antibiotics for a week and then we tested him again and changing the antibiotics to treat some nasal discharge. That's gotten better. He had a great day yesterday, his first day on the meds, but today he's having a really bad day. So, I'm just updating you uh, with that. I've been staying very close to him. I'm so thankful that I can work from home so I can tend to him. And please say a prayer for him. Um, he'll be 13 on March 17th. So he's getting older and I want him to be comfortable. Of course, I don't want to lose him, but I also don't want him to live an uncomfortable life. So just say a prayer that this will pass and he'll get better. So now let's just get started. I want to tell you a little bit about my inventory process and that's going to require me to sit at the desk. This is just a sneak peek at the unfinished unboxing from last week called uh, Grandma's Vintage Jewelry. So I'll be finishing that next week. But just to give you an idea, once I choose items to sell and get the picture completed, get the listing done, it comes into my office. I bring the items into my office here and as you can see I segregate them into necklaces and I think there's there's a bag under there that says bracelets but you get the idea. The next step is to store each piece and put it in a place where I know I can find it. Let's get started with that process. A couple of things that I keep on hand for my process. First of all there are these clear shoe boxes uh, these happen to be Sterilite. You can use any kind of box that works for you. Next, I purchased these little mini white clothespins. I'll explain more about that. And I keep a lot of these bubble bags on hand and I'll explain everything as we go along. And by the way, I will link all of the supplies that I use in my process down below. It will likely be an affiliate link, but you can refer to it if you're interested in purchasing the same thing. Let me take you over to the area where I store my jewelry and this will all become more clear. So in my office, I use the closet in here and I just got a little shelf, probably could get a better shelf. And you can see that I set up all the shoe boxes. Something fell here, let me get that out of the way. So you can see that I labeled N1, N2, N3, and so on, and four, five, six, seven, and then there's spots, there's some empty shoe boxes that I have so that when I can, I can expand if I need to. Um, and then over here, I have the Bs. So right now I have N for necklaces and B for bracelets. You can label them the way you want to. So you can see how I've labeled the boxes here. And then I haven't done it yet. I haven't done ear, uh, earring boxes. I probably would do E1, E2. And then there's pendants and rings. I can make their a little uh, better in number code. And in this one, I have boxed jewelry. That's if I have something that comes in the original box. And right now there aren't that many pieces. So I went ahead and just put them in this box labeled boxed jewelry. I went ahead and I pulled out one of my boxes, the N6, and this is what I do. So, as you can see, I've got these little clothespins marked N6 because this is the box is N6. So it's N6-1, N6-2, 3, 4, all the way back. 
I think I go up to number 15. Okay, so what I do is, let's take this one out. So I've got this as a listing and I put a clip on it, N6, number one. Then I put it in the box. Now, before I go any further, I make sure that I reference N61 in my actual listing. Let me show you what that looks like. So this is the necklace that I am ready to put away. It's labeled N61. Now when I go to list this, and let me show you my screen right here. This is my view, the seller's view. There's the necklace right there. There's my title. And there's a, a label or a column right here that says custom label. And you can see that I put N61 there. Now that's only visible to me. The buyers are, do not see that. That's not some information that they have. That's just my reference that can tell me, oh, I sold that necklace. I go to box N6 and it's place number one in the box. I'm going to show you another way to do it, or you can do it both ways. So here's the custom label when you are making your listing. That's where I have N61. And in the actual listing, let me scroll down. I can show you that here's my description. And this is just inventory information for me. And see, I also put N61 there, just in case something goes wrong. I'm just being doubly safe and sure, but it should be fine if you just do the custom label. But you can also embed it in your actual listing. So now I know where I can find this, and I do this with every single one of my listings. I do want to back up a little bit and explain the bubble bags because that first item I showed did not have a bubble bag. Most of them do. Um, for example, here's an item. I've already wrapped it in tissue paper and put it in this bubble bag. I put the clip on it that says N67. So when I sell this item, I check my listing and it tells me it's right here. So I pull out the item and before I go any further, I take this clip off because now the item has sold. And in order to know what available clip I have for the next item I'm going to store, I have a little card on the back, in the back of this box. Let me see if I can do this with one hand here. So I just made a little card and I put it in the back of all my boxes so that when I go to this box and I'm ready to put things away, I say, oh, I have a spot in, in this box that I have number 2, 7, 11, and 5 available so that I can store it in my inventory system. I also wanted to mention how I wrote on these clips. The Sharpies worked great. It came out nice and clear. It was easy to write on these little wooden clips. And I happened to have a pink and black one on hand and decided to use the box number in pink and the item number in black. Once I have sold an item and I've pulled it out of my inventory box, I have a pretty easy system ready to go. I have little jewelry envelopes. Most of my items fit in this envelope. And I have some thank you stickers inside. I take a thank you sticker and I place it on the outside of the bubble, bu bubble envelope. And then I weigh the package to see what postage needs to go on. On my desk, I have a postal scale, and I just put it on there. I see that it says 3.2 ounces, so in this case, I would enter 4 ounces, because if it goes over a whole ounce, you have to go with the next highest for the postage. At this point, I print out my postage. And I do just use a regular printer, and I tape my label on the envelope. I know a lot of people have those Rollo thermal printers. I just stick with a taped on label and it works okay for me. I place the jewelry item inside the bag. I peel this little clear layer off, fold it over, stick it on, and I've already attached my label, let's pretend. And that is it. It's ready to be mailed. I wanted to also let you know that most of the time I use these little six by nine envelopes. 
but if it's something a little larger and you need just uh, maybe have a couple of things to put in the order and I also use the 7 by 10 envelopes most of the time it's these smaller ones that will be put to use so that is my jewelry inventory system for all of my items that I have listed on eBay it's very helpful to me. I'm able to receive an order and just put my finger on it right away. Get it out in the mail and it's pretty stress-free. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I hope you will subscribe. And let's all say positive prayers and thoughts for Alfie, hoping that he recovers uh, from this illness that he has. And I thank you for coming in today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. This is Alfie resting. He's right here with me in the office while I do the video. He's got his mouth open. Bless his heart.